But once this goes in, if people can't remember the song Murdering Time, bad example, but let's just say they think, oh, only sense is the darkness, only feeling the pain, they can search that in Spotify and it's going to find the song. Now, when you release with DistroKid, uh, you've got a few options in here. Last week, I showed you the very cool Vault option. So you can come in here and the Vault gives you free unlimited backups of all your files. This week, let's take a look at another option here. We can actually add in lyrics. So for instance, I have my single Murdering Time here and I haven't done this yet deliberately just to show you. Not really, I'm just slack. But we can come in here and we can actually add in lyrics. So if you're on the 1999, the standard musician plan here on DistroKid, you can add plain lyrics. You can actually also add sync lyrics, which I'm going to show you in a quick moment. But uh, if you're on even the bass plan, you can add lyrics. Now, why would you add lyrics? Well, on some platforms like Apple Music and Instagram, it will actually scroll your lyrics if you've got synced lyrics. But on every platform, did you know you can search via lyrics? Yeah. If you hear a cool hook in a song, you're listening to the Indigo Sunsets, you're listening to a Jade Style song, you're like, oh, I can't remember that song. If they've done their homework and they've put their lyrics here in DistroKid, then guess what? you can actually search via their lyrics. So it's a very cool option and it's a good idea to get your metadata sorted. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna jump in over here into my notes and I'm gonna grab my lyrics for Murdering Time. You just need to put them in a nice standard format, uh, a little bit like this. We just paste them in from my notepad. There you go, we've got all of my lyrics there and uh, I hope they're spelt correctly. And then I've read and agree to the terms and conditions, which I'm sure you would have done before you hit this one. We hit save lyrics and boom. So that's, I'm still missing lyrics for 40 of my songs. So I do recommend doing this again, do as I say, not as I do, because I haven't done my metadata properly. But once this goes in, if people can't remember the song Murdering Time, bad example, but let's just say they think, oh, only sense is the darkness, only feeling the pain, they can search that in Spotify and it's going to find the song based on the song lyric, which I think is pretty cool. And it's a worthwhile option. That took, what, 10 seconds? And that will get pushed out to all the platforms. The other thing you have in there, if we go back to my music, we'll try a different one here. If we go to, say, Imagination, I'll show you this real quick. If you're on the Musician Plus plan, you can actually do synced lyrics, which is not only cool, but is kind of fun. I'll show you really quickly how to do this, and then I promise we're back to the music. Yeah, so this is just giving you a bit of information about how slow Instagram can be to actually upload it to places, but that's cool. But what we can do here is we can actually play, and uh, what we do is we hold the space bar down at the beginning of a line, and then you release the space bar when a lyric is finished. So I'll just show you this real quick. We hit the play button. It's gonna play my tune here. And when my first line comes in, what I need to do is hit the space bar, hold it down, and let it go. So, uh, sorry, I chose a song that has a bit of a long intro here but it's cool, it's like a game. It's like playing a really basic version of Guitar Hero. Let's do this. So I hold down the space, Sometimes I sit around holding it down. How it is I got here. <laughs> you gotta be I'm quick. Under all the complications of my life, all the times when I couldn't reach a knife in my back to the days when I was a little And we continue kid. on. We'll pause that and I'll finish that on later. Uh, but yeah, that's how you can use lyrics here in DistroKid to really enhance. And the more metadata you have out there with your music, then the more likely folks are going to be able to find it and then listen to it and then love it and then follow it. So thank you again to our friends at DistroKid.